Okay, so before we cut the tails, I want to talk about probably the most important part of the process here, and that is that we cut perfectly square right here. We didn't lay that out yet, so I'm going to go ahead and lay that out with the square. So what I'm essentially doing is taking these angled lines and drawing them square across the, the, uh, the end grain right here. And this is absolute key to a tight fitting joint. You've got to have these lines have got to be perfectly square right across here. Perfectly square. So you see that? Nice and square. Uh, cutting these angles does tend to be somewhat of a challenge, uh, a little bit awkward to hold the saw and position your body and such, but uh, it's uh, something you kind of just have to get used to. A good sawing practice is key here, a uh, good sawing skill rather, and uh, sawing practice is something that you can do by watching some of the other videos. We did a video on sawing practice. But you'll notice here I'm sawing just perfectly straight across there, really, really key. And then I'm just going to follow the line. One thing I probably should note here is that I am on the waist side of the line. Again, we'll note that this is the waist, this is the waist. Obviously in the middle there is the waist. I like to cut all of these same angles going the same way because once you position your body in this awkward position, uh, you can kind of get that muscle memory set and then just cut all the angles the same way before I actually change my body into a new position. So perfectly square. I'm concentrating on being perfectly square first and then I'll go ahead and do the angle. I switched this around in the vise here so that I can clamp it up closer and I'm going to cut the angles going the other way. Now one thing I want to talk about is the trick for cutting these needle point dovetails is to set the saw right in the same curve that we use to cut the angle the other way. So you see here we cut the angle coming down like this. Now all I've got to do is set the saw in that curve and just start the angle going the other way. And that creates the needle point dovetail. I'm using a tenon saw here as opposed to a dovetail saw and the reason for that is I need a little bit heavier saw for doing this thicker material as well as this hard maple. The next step here is to go ahead and cut off the half pins and it's important here that we are very accurate to our knife line right here because this is going to be seen. So again, as I do with all of my cross grain cuts, we will make a, a knife wall there. And coming in with our cross cut saw, we'll cut that off. Next uh, step here is to remove the waste here. And I like to use a coping saw to remove just above the line and then we'll chisel it. So let's get the coping saw and we'll go ahead and do that. So we're just gonna start just above the line there. Bring the coping saw around. Again, staying a little bit above the line. Same thing on the houndstooth part. 
being that I've cut just a little bit above the line, I want to remove the waste with a chisel here. And I'm just going to come a little bit above that line there and just kind of remove some of that waste before I set the chisel right in the line. One final check here. I'm going to check to make sure that I've cut square across here. And what I'm looking for is I'm making sure that no light is coming through. That looks pretty good. This is really key here. That's good. 